Lesson 9.4, line graphs. So we are looking at the same bit of information as we did with lesson 9.3. Um, the only difference is, is that we're going to be putting our numbers together a little bit. The lessons build off of one another, but they're pretty much the exact same thing. So no new information that you're really working with. We're just taking the pieces that we've learned so far with chapter 9, and we're putting them all together now. So we're starting again. We're going to be looking at temperature as our model. So we have time and we have temperature. So the difference with the time here is we're not going in um, lengths of time, we're looking at exact time. So 10 a.m., 11 a.m., 12 noon, 1 p.m., all the way down to 4 p.m. So when we look at our x-axis, which is across the bottom here, um, we're not putting in increments of time, we're putting in the exact time of day that each of our numbers line up with, okay? Um, when we look at temperature, we're still looking at the actual degrees of temperature starting out at 10 a.m. at 8 degrees, so very cold, must be winter, um, all the way up until 4 p.m., which is about the height of the temperature of the day, um, which 41 degrees, again, definitely winter. Um, so we're looking at the temperature and the time of the day that coordinates with that. So the only difference with this lesson is that you're looking at related number pairs. You guys have actually done this already, where you took your two numbers from a source of information and you put them together with that comma, you can't really see me, with that comma in between the two numbers. And that's all you're doing with these. So you're taking your first set of information here, your time and your temperature. Remember that x-axis is the first number. So the x-axis is always going to be the time for this particular problem. So your first set of numbers is 10, and then your temperature, 8, because your second number is always from that y-axis. And that's all you're writing, 10, 8 would be your answer for your related number pairs. You're doing that with every set of numbers that you have for a particular problem, and you're just taking the top number, which is your x-axis, that goes first, and then putting a comma with your y-axis, the second number, in each set. Okay, so we have 10, 8, we have 11, 11, we have 12, 16, let me make sure we can see all the way down. We have 1, 27. And I'm going to write right below over here um, so that we don't run out of room here. We have 2, 31. We have 3, 38. And we have 4, 41. And those are our related number pairs. Pretty simple. So the last step is going to be putting them on the graph, just like we did with lesson 9.3. And then you're going to connect your dots to see what kind of um, trend you have. So we're starting with 10 a.m. 10 a.m. and we're at 8 degrees. Um, we did our numbers on the y-axis here by 5s. You could do them by 10s to get a bigger set of numbers. But since we don't have that many numbers here, it's probably better to have smaller increments all the way up so you can see more exact points on your graph. So 10 a.m., you're at 8 degrees. 11, you're at 11. And again, this is not graph paper, so it's really hard to get an exact. You're just kind of estimating about where you think that should be. So 16, definitely going to be above the 15 point. So... As close as you can get, 1 p.m. we're at 27, so we see a bigger jump there. At 1 p.m., 2 p.m. we're at 31, 3 p.m., 38, and then finally 4 p.m. we're at 41, so we'll read into our number there. Okay, and then your next task is to just connect the dots. And it kind of shows you what that graph looks like throughout the day. So if I were to then ask you any further questions with this information, it would be um, something like perhaps what was the biggest gap in um, rise in temperature throughout the day? You could do that one of two ways. You could take 
your numbers and you could subtract, or you can simply look at your graph and say, oh, well, this line here is the longest line. That's going to be my biggest gap from 12 noon to 1 p.m., and we know that from 16 to 27 is the biggest jump in temperature within that hour time frame. Um, so you can use this graph to answer lots of different questions, which you will be doing, um, especially with science um, in the upper grades. But it's important to know how to set up the graph so that once you get to that point, you know exactly how to read them, um, which is kind of the next step of using graphs. So for this lesson, we're focused on not only plotting out on the graph, connecting the dots, but also related number pairs is what you guys are going to be assessed on in your Google form for lesson 9.4. So make sure the number that's attached to the X is your first number. You put a comma in between. Your number that's attached to the Y is the second number that goes on your pairs. All right.